Hi all and welcome to the Home Engineers channel. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how I clock up a piece of square stock in a four jaw chuck to make sure it's running absolutely concentric. Um, the most important thing is this piece of bar here because this fits to the bed and then it slides underneath one of the jaws. Now I've put my finger against the bed and the bar so that I can when I change position of the jaws, I know that it will come back to the same position each time. Um, I've already sort of trimmed it up reasonably round by just using the marks on the front of the chuck and just by eye on the clock. With this underneath here, and this is um, an irregular piece of stock. It's, um, I can't remember what it is. It's three eighths by um, seven sixteenths, I think. So it is a bit odd. So I have to do two sides first and then I'll come back and do the opposite side um, and I'll explain why in a minute. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to bring the clock along, touch it onto the job, very light touch and bring it around to zero. Now again another important thing here is to wind the clock off so that when you turn it you don't damage your clock. Take it off, go around to the opposite jaw Holding your finger against the bed again, so it comes to the same position. And then coming along and then touching the clock onto this side. Now, that looks like, oh, right. So we are about eight thou out on there. So it needs to come towards, towards me. So I'll go back to the other jaw. Bring the clock back on and then I will lock this jaw down half the distance so roughly roughly about there reset the clock to zero Actually, do it on the cross slide so that's zero the chuck is down wind the clock back off Go around 180 degrees to the next jaw, drop it onto your bit of bar, and there you go. You're, you're within you're with a, within a thou there, so I'd be happy with that because it's only a handle that I'm making. Right, so then what you do is you go to the next um, 90 degrees to the other mm. side. Now this should miss now, which it does because it's an odd sized bit of bar. So I just bring that now around onto zero on there and it's exactly the same technique wind the clock back off go 180 degrees onto the opposite jaw of the side that you're setting up well, actually that's a spot on there so i must have trimmed that up quite well just by by eye um but that's the principle for doing it i know the chuck's nice and tight so that piece of stock now is running um concentric because i've used the flats and not the corners because the problem is if you use a corner if this has been deburred or damaged or not you can't guarantee that all the corners are going to be the same um distance from the center um but obviously with the flats you know that you're going to get it absolutely spot on um from the um flats i'll just check that again so i've noticed that that tool post was was a little bit loose so i just want to check that it is Spot on, so there's naught there. Yep, and naught there. So yeah, I'm happy with that. We can go back and just check the other other side. So again, I've I've lined that up, put it on the jaw. Wind that clock in onto the zero. Wind it away 180 degrees to the opposite side. And there you go. So that's a compressor going off in the dump valve. And that is again zero. So that now is running concentric. I hope you'll find this video of use. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and um, look forward to any constructive criticism. Thank you very much. Bye.